For this tutorial, what we're going to look at is, again, creating some brushes. But in this case, sometimes you may need to use a different command in order to create the brushes. We're going to look at invert in this case. So let's look at the same way. I'm going to go through my channels here, and we're looking at green or blue um, or red. I'm going to go with the green one. You can see the blue is a little bit fuzzy. So we're going to go ahead and go with green. Go ahead and duplicate it. Levels, Command L. And again, we're just going to up these to black, and we're going to up the whites, just moving them in inwards. Now, if I created a brush out of this, what it would do is it would create the, the white would be transparent. So it would almost be like, oh, we'll show you. Let's create a brush out of that. Okay, so let's create a new, oops, let's create a new document here. Sure. And just to show you, I'm going to fill this background with a color. And then we are going to get this brush that I just created. And we're just going to use black. And what do you notice here? You notice that the black stays black and the white becomes transparent. So I'm actually seeing the red through it, right? Almost like a stencil. Well, I don't really want to create it that way. So the way to do it is you're on your channels palette, same way that we just did, and you do the Apple Eye or image. Right? No, that's not right. Um, yeah, image. I just didn't see it. Adjustments invert, right? Or or Command I, um, and that'll invert it. So now everything that's white here becomes transparent. So let's say I just wanted. I just, ooh, I just wanted it to be, I'll get out of my brush tool here. What did I do? That's why. What's happening? All right, we're just going to back up. Oh, because oh, I'm on the, no, why? Because all the other channels are, yeah, there we go. All right, sorry. So let's go ahead and, and invert that. I don't know what I hit. Um, and I want to get, we'll just use a the polygon lasso. And I just want to get in here. And let's say I just wanted this trash can here. So now I can make my selection here. And then do edit to find brush presets. And there we are with a trash can in that. Okay, so let's do another one. Let's take this one. This one happens to already be in grayscale. It's already a black and white image, so I don't necessarily need to go through channels. I'm just going to do a levels right on top here, and we're going to up the white here, and we're going to up the black. Now, in this case, I don't want to go too far with this because I know I need to invert it, so we're going to do Command-I, um, and then I'm going to go back into the levels, and if I need to sharpen up anything or, or make you know the white more go away. So I have this really cool textured brush, but again, it goes out to the edges, and so what I would get would be just this square. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to use the eraser, but I'm going to zoom in here, and I'm just going to erase the points from the edges. Right? So we're just going to go in, and we're not going to make it look like I use the eraser at all, but I am going to use the eraser here on the edges to go into some of this stuff. Right, we're just going to get rid of some of that edged mark so we don't see the edges. And it's just kind of cleaning that up. And here I'm just going to go right to that point. Right, so we're just going through. Um, incidentally, I'm using the space bar to pan as I'm doing. Now, now this has a lot of junk to it, so we're going to get a smaller brush and get right in there. The goal is to make it look like I didn't use the brush at all over on this point. Right, this is fairly easy to clean up. I'm just gonna go through, let's get a larger brush again. Okay, so just going through and just cleaning some stuff up and get rid of the stuff in the corner. Okay, and so now I can either select all or just select nothing and do edit to find brush preset, and there is my brush. Okay, so that's the way to use invert on something that has a darker background to make a brush.